Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. And it's now time to discuss what happened today in history in 2013. And the big story here is about the Cowitz shooting. It's popularly called the Cowitz shooting. It occurred January 4th, 2013. And it was a mass murder that occurred in Barangay Tabon 1 in Cowitz in the Philippines. So the story is that a 41-year-old called Ronald Bay killed at least seven people and he wounded 12 other people, people with a semi-automatic pistol before he was shot and killed by the police. So the fact is that even the news and uh, journalists and the police still were not able to find out what exactly happened. But the issue is that this man woke up one morning, mm -hmm. took a gun and just went on a shooting spree, killing everybody in his way. Maybe his wife told him the kids weren't his. <laughs> that's a very good one. And it's quite a possibility anyway. You know, but that's what happened. He went to a store, killed a child, shot the people. A seven year old child. I mean, first. shot the people for about 30 minutes and he disappeared. They issued, you know, a, a, a reward for his arrest. He eventually surrendered. There was a lot involved with this story. It was on several big news websites at the time. It was a big story as at uh, January 4th, 2013. Yeah, and unfortunately, he died before anyone could actually find out, um, you know, what you know, led to all the shooting and, you know, what, um, uh, you, know, you know, caused him to go on that rampage, um, unfortunately for him. But of course, rest in peace to those lives. About seven people, I believe, died. Seven and about people, including a pregnant girl. Yes, and, and a dog. And I a think. dog, yeah. quite funny. Poor dog. And a dog. Poor Good dog. dog. He was living a responsible life yeah. and then just got Poor killed. Yeah, uh, Anyway, so yes, that's what happened today in history, the 4th of uh, January in 2013. Um, and it really makes you question um, you know, mental health issues. Um, and it's one of the things that we in Nigeria don't take very seriously. Um, a lot of people have their own mental health challenges. A lot of people are dealing with, you know, so much mentally that they don't get to talk about. People feel therapy is very expensive. It's something that, you know, you may not be able to afford. Um, luckily, I think it was about two days ago, I saw um, a thread on Twitter, you know, directing people to the pretty affordable therapist, you know, here in Lagos and, you know, in all the parts of the country. And of course, the mentally aware group also that has been do doing very phenomenally with, you know, giving people some mental health. Um, yes, she writes um, women as well. She writes what now? She writes women. She's okay. one, okay, she's one fantastic, um, she's done first fantastic work in the space yeah. of mental health and advocacy. So it, yeah. it's something, you know, if you're in that space this morning, you know, anywhere in Nigeria that you are, and you feel like you need to talk to someone, you have too much bottled up in your head, you're dealing with so much, you know, that life is thrown at you, then please speak to someone. It really doesn't cost so much. Yes, they're the expensive ones, no doubt, but generally therapy and having those, you know, uh, you know, conversations with the therapist doesn't really cost so much. And I think everyone should once in a while, you know, once every quarter, um, if possible, see a therapist. Have a discussion on your marriage, your yes. finances, your health, you know, your your person, your growth, you know, whatever it is that yeah. you think really, really bothers you. Or talk you. to a friend. Yeah. It doesn't cost anything. Well, well. <laughs> Not all friend. friends anyway, right? <laughs> okay, yes. In 2007, that's our next story in Today in History. The 4th of January, Nancy Pelosi became the very first female Speaker of the U.S. House. Uh, she was the 52nd Speaker of the U.S. House of Reps and, of course, has continued to make history since then. Um, she, of course, was once again re-elected in 2018. Um, she was first elected into Congress in uh, 1987 following her father, who was a U.S. representative from Maryland and also the mayor of Baltimore. Uh, she represents California's 12th congressional district. Um, and if you also remember, if you've been following her in 2011, she also lost the um, uh, speakership of the House after the Republican Party won a majority in the House. Then, she, of course, she returned in 2018. But two major things that she is remembered for, I'll go back first of all, mm -hmm. um, and these are very, very peculiar issues because they're the same issue, but different times, different parties in, in, in the, uh, you know, take in charge of the White House. In 2000, and um, I'm not sure what year, I think 2008, there was an, this was an eight now, I don't remember, but there was a conversation about impeachment for George W. Bush because of the lies that were told to get into war in Iraq, the weapons of mass destruction story. Um, Nancy Pelosi was one of those people who was against his impeachment back then uh, because um, um, she stood against it, you know, basically. Um, fast forward to 2020, when 
uh, Donald Trump, or 2019 actually, when mm -hmm. Donald Trump was facing impeachment um, uh, yeah, because, of course, his own, you know, alleged crimes, you know, um, in the White House. She was one of those people who um, basically, you know, ensured that he was impeached. He eventually, of course, was saved by the Republican uh, majority in the House, but um, Nancy Pelosi, two different times, two different, you know, stances with regards impeachment. Mm -hmm. So yes, on this day, on the 4th of January in 2007, she made history um, as the first female speaker of the U.S. House. Um, and, you know, you know, I was saying to you yesterday, it really gets you to question, you know, when we would have that level of representation, uh, representation exactly. for females exactly. in Nigeria. Exactly, exactly. And thinking about Nancy Pelosi's story reminds me so much of Kamala Harris, who became the first, you know, female you know, vice yes. president of the United States. I mean, she was the first female speaker of the house. I, I, I see quotes here describing just how much of a historic moment that was for Congress and for women in America. And hopefully, you know, um, daughters, granddaughters of ours in Nigeria can have women like that to look up to in politics. Absolutely. I mean, you know, but it would be great if we started here also, you know, the, the young girls in Nigeria don't need to look up to Nancy Pelosi. They should look up to uh, female no, I mean here politicians in Nigeria. here in Nigeria. Yes, oh, okay, yes. okay. Here, here in Nigeria. Nigeria, and you know, tell themselves, yes, you know, I can make a change. I can, you know, get into politics. You know, there's so much, um, you know, or so little actually that is said about women and female representation in uh, the political space in yes. Nigeria. And it's sad that even when you have the most basic conversations, you know, about politics. Even on social media, you know, you, you don't get to see that many females, you know, put in speaking you know, up, yes. speaking up. You know, I, I, lately I've seen that, you know, there's definitely been an increase in that. If you look at the NSARS protest, the you feminist really would coalition, see, yes, it was yes. it was amazing to see the work and the power that women were able to pull off, you know, simply by just being a part of that of that protest. So yes, um, Nancy Pelosi is a great example. But I would love to see more Nigerian women hold that position, hold, you know, greater positions. Um, those, you know, people who would come up with the argument that, oh, look at, um, what's her name, the woman who had that scandal with uh, buying gym equipment uh, sometime in, um, in the past. can't remember her name now. Anyway, they, they would always bring up those examples and say, oh, you know, when you give women political they, positions, they, they, they always mess it up. You know, yes. but that's really not enough because the men have also done, you know, same and even worse, you know, but they still get those positions um, regardless. Anyway, so yes, 2013, we spoke about the coward shooting in the Philippines, uh, which led to the uh, loss of uh, seven lives and 12 others were injured. And then in 2007, Nancy Pelosi became the very first female speaker of uh, the U.S. House. That's what we have for you today in history. Coming up next, we have a very interesting conversation Sensational topic. on <laughs> paternity fraud. Um, it has been trending on social media in the last few days, um, from a bank MD to, of course, uh, two beautiful kids, and of course a man who just lost his life. We'll talk about that when we come back after this break. Stay with us. <laughs> 